Hi, I'm Micah Clark. Thank you for joining us today. I want to mention that something we've talked about many times in the past, iVoterGuide.com. <clears throat> As you know, the elections are coming up soon. Early voting in Indiana starts very soon. And our voter guide that we were working with with our national office is up and running now online, iVoterGuide.com. If you go there, you'll find the presidential race, U.S. Senate race, governor's race, congressional races, state house races, and in some parts of Indiana, they have some school board races as well. So this is a great resource before you go to vote. If you're voting early or if you're voting on election day, please take a look at iVoterGuide.com. Now, I would encourage people to consider voting early this year. I've never done that. I've been a precinct committeeman. You know, I always want to see what's going on at my poll, get a pulse of what election day is like. I'm actually going to vote early. And here's why. I saw a study that showed that 3 to 5% of people who are strongly intending to vote on election day do not actually make it to the polls for whatever reason. The car may break down, they may get sick. Things happen that we just don't expect. So vote at your, off, vote at your convenience when you can. And consider doing that this year. The other thing that does, and it's no secret, several people have talked about this, but a good campaign will track the early voters, and it allows them to use their resources to go after people who haven't voted yet with their mailings and other things. So voting early has some advantages for you. It also has some advantages for the campaign. But also, if you like to vote on election day, that's fine, I understand that. But whatever you choose to do, please go to iVoterGuide.com. Now we're gonna be talking more about elections in the upcoming videos that we're doing. I have scheduled already the Indiana Secretary of State, Diego Morales, to come in uh, next week, and we will air that either that week or the week after, but Diego's coming in. The Secretary of State's office in Indiana covers a lot of business aspects, but it may be better known for what it oversees in terms of elections. So we'll have a chance to talk to him about voting laws, illegal voting, out-of-state out uh, votes, things like that, absentee ballots, various things you need to know about elections, questions you may have about things going on with voting laws, what laws Indiana has passed to address to make our uh, elections more secure, and just generally about who Diego is and what the Office of Secretary of State does, much like we did with Dan Elliott, the state treasurer, to teach you more about the various offices that you will vote for and learn about. Now, Diego is not on the ballot this year, neither was Dan in his office, but I wanted to let you know about who your elected leaders are, a little bit more about them, and what they do for you in government. So, hope you look forward to that. Again, thank you for joining us today. Just a short video today. But I want to remind you, iVoterGuide.com. Another thing about iVoterGuide that I think is very helpful, you know, India is not in play a lot for the uh, national election and president. But as you know, there are seven to nine key swing battleground states iVoterGuide works nationally, so if you have family members in Georgia, North Carolina, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, Arizona, one of those states we hear so much about, Pennsylvania, of course, and you have family there or friends there, let them know about iVoterGuide. Not because you're endorsing one candidate or another, but because voting their values is critical, and they can look at their local elections in their state house and their statewide offices as well. So. It is a nonpartisan voter guide put together by AFA Action and Family Research Council. Several other pro family policy groups endorse and are part of iVoterGuide.com. So, again, take a look at iVoterGuide.com. And in the comments below, we will also link to a video that we did in an interview with the head of iVoterGuide a few months back. And she details how it works and things that they do to weigh candidates on endorsements and donations and things like that. You might find that of interest. But I encourage you to talk about, share with your family and friends, ivoreguide.com. Well, I'm Micah Clark with American Family Association. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend.